Right, so we're now just going to finish off the level that we've built in Unreal Engine 4 by just adding a couple of particle effects. So this is by no means going to be a particles tutorial. Um, Cascade is the system that you use to make particles in Unreal Engine and that, that is its, its own thing. So we'll open Cascade and have a quick look at it but we're not going to be creating a whole new particle system because that would be quite a big thing. Um, so what we'll do is we'll use the ones from the start content which is pretty much the whole reason we included the start content in the first place. So we'll start with um, some fire to go here. So if you have a look in your start content folder there's a particles folder and you can see within here you've got an explosion, fire, smoke, um, sparks and steam. So that's good but that's not what we're going to use because uh, if we go into the blueprints folder you see that those things appear again but they're now blueprints and that's because this fire one for instance has got the sound of fire added to it as well so as we run past it you'll hear it crackling and stuff which is pretty cool. So we're going to drag that into our level and just place it in the fire and you'll see straight away we have fire that's it that's done. You could if you wanted to kind of try and scale it up um, but you know that can quite quickly get out of control it's already a pretty good scale so I'm happy with that. So if you did want to let's just um, have a little look at this. If you wanted to you could have it emit more flame so one thing one thing that it's tied to is if we go to and your scalability settings it's tied to effects I believe um, and so the higher your effects are the more particles will spawn so now I've turned that off I should be getting more fire but if you decide there still aren't enough particles what you can do is go into the actual particle thing for it so this here P fire so this is cascade um, this is what you use in Unreal Engine to create your particles you can see we've got two different types of flames here that are being spawned in different ways. So if you go to the spawn for them and go into, I think you need to go into rate and then distribution, you've got a constant number. So if you wanted to double it, we'd change that 5 to 10. And the same for this one, 5 to 10. And that would now spawn twice as many flame particles. You could also add smoke, embers, etc. There's quite a lot going into this fire. But we'll save that and close it hopefully and that's now going to be creating twice as much but it also makes it twice as expensive to render because there's quite a lot of transparency going on with this but that's how we do it anyway so that's the fire in place so what we also want to do is get the smoke coming out of the chimney so we'll go back into the blueprints folder for that and we have some smoke for it so let's just drag the smoke in put it as close to the chimney as we can get it and then I'm probably I'm just gonna have to refine that a little bit because I want it to look like it's coming from the right place so let's just drop that in that direction a little bit and I might just push it down a touch in fact now I'm gonna move it up okay and that is pretty much it so let's just get a decent view of both of these doing their thing so we've got some fire going on that may be a little bit big it looks oh no I've duplicated my house Ooh. So. <laughs> Um, it may be a little bit out of control I might need to just bring that down uh, but it looks pretty nice and oh, we've got some smoke coming out of the chimney making it like someone's in they're just cooking themselves a little meal maybe they've got a chicken roasting on the stove I don't know I, I don't know who lives there um, but that kind of brings us to an end so what I will be doing is there will be a follow up video to this like a bonus video so there will be two things in there that I'll definitely do one of them will be based on this window and we'll update the material to add a flickering effect to that. I will also add um, some displacement to the rocks. So what that will do is make them look more jagged as you get close to them. So that will be in the bonus video. But what I also want to do is if you've got any questions um, or anything that you'd like to see added to this as an exercise, as an introduction, to the art side of Unreal Engine, then drop it in the comments or email me or you know DM me on Twitter, slide into my DMs, and uh, I may well put it in the bonus video as well if I think it's a good fit. So keep that in mind. So this is as far as I'm going for now. I will also be doing um, another series of these. 
I haven't yet decided which way I'm going to go with it. I'm going to either go into gameplay mechanics or importing a third person character uh, and kind of doing everything on that. So that'll be including modeling, texturing, rigging, animating, and putting it all together in, in Unreal and having that, that third person character run around. So we can either do that or we can do something based on gameplay mechanics. I don't know yet. So again, in the comments, let me know how you want that to be. But what I will say to you is, um, if in the meantime, while you're waiting for me to get my shit together and make a new series, if you want to keep learning how to use Unreal Engine, you should check out the courses on Pluralsight. So it was the courses on Pluralsight when it was called Digital Tutors. That's where I first learned how to use Unreal Engine myself. So, you know, as a teacher, um, I have to kind of try and keep on top of things or as on top of things as I possibly can. Uh, and so when I need to acquire new skills, that's where I go to. And the courses are incredibly good. So I will put a link in the description if you want to check that out. If you use that link, you'll get a 10 day free trial. So you've got nothing to lose really in checking it out. I highly recommend it. And if you do use that link, it does give me a little bit of a kickback. It's a, I'll earn a little bit of commission on that as well, which will also help me out. So that'd be ace. I really hope you have taken a lot out of this tutorial series. I hope that you feel you've acquired a lot of skills to be able to put together environments that will enable gameplay. If you think this has been a tip-top tutorial, then hit the thumbsy up -y button. Uh, if you thought it wasn't very good, then you know there's, there's that button as well. And please, if you create your own projects based on things that you've learned from me, then send me pictures, send me builds of your level, send that through to me so I can have a look. I really do enjoy seeing what people have made based on, you know, my my videos, my tutorials. So you know, there's the Facebook page that I've got for that. You could also again slide into my DMs. Uh, you could email it to me, but that's always really interesting for me to see. So don't forget me, you know, if you make your own cool stuff. In addition to liking and commenting, if you would like to show your support for my tutorials and my YouTube channel in general, then you could support my work through Patreon. So there are some awesome individuals already doing so, and that help is really unbelievably appreciated. I still find it crazy that people are willing to pledge money based on what I'm doing. But it's ace, it really is ace. If you want to become one of those people, then the link is down there. So check it out. And the last thing I want to say is thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in another video. Bye! Thanks for watching. If you really want to take your learning further than I can cover in this series, then I highly recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using Unreal Engine 4. When I learned how to use Unreal a couple of years ago, this is where I went and I log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills. I recommend checking out the Introduction to Unreal Engine 4 course by Joshua Kinney. This is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's got to be worth a free trial though right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.